Hey mommies, how are you? I hope that everybody is having a good day. And um, Isaac, say hi. Show them all your new teeth. Look, say, I have lots of teeth. Yeah. <laughs> so finally, some of these um, teeth have been breaking through. So now he's a more happy baby, back to himself. And mommy's a little bit more sane now too. So um, we've been having an awesome week. And talking about awesome, we have had a lot of uh, new mommies in the group. Um, so, and especially a lot of those new mommies seem to be like uh, brand new mommies to like breastfeeding and having their first baby. So I wanted to talk about something that um, is kind of um, overrated, should I say, because um, I get a lot of people, are, or underrated, should I say, because I get a lot of moms asking me if breastfeeding is painful. And um, it seems to be like, uh, I, I seem to see a lot of like, um, contradictory um, opinions about that should I say because a lot of people say that breastfeeding should not hurt if you're doing it right um, that if you're doing it wrong then that's because you know that's why it's hurting um, and I wanted to talk really about what breastfeeding and pain was really all about and first of all for those new, new mommies breastfeeding is not that it's painful it's that it's a different sensation so once your baby is born, and usually what will happen is within the first, you know, like 10, 15 minutes, um, uh, if you're at a, you know, baby friendly type of hospital, they'll encourage you to put your baby on your breast right away. And then basically, um, like I said, that sensation, you've never had someone like latched on the suction of having a baby latched on. It's like, it's a deep latch. So it's something that feels very different and it feels a little bit uncomfortable to be at first, uh, uh, to be honest with you at first. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a different sensation. Uh, but it shouldn't be like super painful where you're like, oh my God, this hurts so much. I can't do it. Or you're like cringing like this it shouldn't feel like that so it shouldn't be like a deep type of pain like a contraction or anything like that um it should just feel maybe a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit um you know unusual um to your breast and obviously another thing that happens is um your baby has saliva and saliva is you know salty so it'll be a different sensation on your breast in regards to that too um so you might feel a little bit uncomfortable and sore um the first few days because of that also, something else that happens is when you're newborn, uh, when you have a baby that is newborn, they have an, an, a natural, um, how should I say this, a natural uh, reaction, an, an, an instinct reaction that is to continuously suck on the breast. And that's obviously to help your milk come in. It's a natural reaction that babies have. And that's great because that's what's going to help your milk come in quicker and obviously they're taking that colostrum too a colostrum doesn't flow like milk it's a lot thicker so it takes a while for for your baby to be able to suction on that so that sucking too is gonna cause you a little bit of um i wouldn't say like pain but it feels a little bit sore especially those first few days so i just wanted to make that clear in regards to um to your baby this baby's name is Booby now too, in regards to um, those first few days when you're breastfeeding and how it's going to feel, okay? So if you're feeling, like I said, that is ve very, very, very painful for you, then it most likely is because it's um, because your baby has a very shallow latch. Uh, and that's exactly what I wanted to talk about. When you do feel pain in regards to uh, breastfeeding is because mostly because of positioning and because of latching. When your baby's a newborn, the best thing to do is do like natural um, breastfeeding positions or laid back breastfeeding positions where your baby is like tummy to tummy. So his, if this was Isaac um, breastfeeding for the first time, then I would be holding him like this and me laying back so that we are tummy to tummy. And then that way it's gonna cause your baby to be able to have a, a deeper and a more concentrated latch too. And also something, another way that you can kind of detect if your baby's not latching correctly, they should obviously have an open mouth and they should have all of your nipple in their mouth, not just the tip of it. If they have just the tip of it, then that's what's gonna to start to cause cracked nipples and pain. And kind of like the bad thing about when you get into that, it's kind of hard to break out of it because that's how your baby gets used to latching. 
and it'll cause you crack nipples very, very soon, and that will be painful for when you're breastfeeding, okay? So just wanted to mention that really important that you kind of watch for your baby's positioning and how they're latching those first few hours, really important so that you don't get those crack nipples, and then that's what's gonna be painful. Not that breastfeeding was painful, just that the latching of the position caused it to be painful. Um, so latching is really, really important that you um, learn that, start to become familiar with how a baby should look like when they're latching. All babies look different when they're latching because obviously their mouths are different, but you should look for that too. Uh, something else too is if you, those first few days also when you start to breastfeed, usually you feel a little bit engorged and that's basically your breast is very, very full because your milk has just started to come in and you still haven't established like a milk supply yet. So basically because your breast is hard, it's difficult for your baby to grasp its lips and its mouth and its tongue around your nipple. Uh, and that can make it a little bit difficult with latching. So really important that um, you drain those uh, breasts as often as you can. Use your breast pump if you have to. Uh, and make sure you can put like um, hot pads um, just before you start to breastfeed so that all your milk is, um, your letdown is coming down um, quicker. And also in between feedings and you can put cold packs to help with the soreness. So that's something else that uh, makes a big, big difference. Um, and other things that can start to, that are good for you to monitor and to look out for in regards to latching and position and stuff like that is, look at your nipple when you take your baby off. If it looks like it has like a white uh, mark, like where your baby's been crunching down, then that's bad latching. Or if it looks like your nipple looks kind of like a lipstick when you when it's a brand new lipstick and you take it out, like it has a tip kind of vertical like that. Um, again, that those are all signs. Um, of bad latching, which could also be an indication of maybe a tongue tie or something like that. So you really want to um, monitor um, how your how your nipple looks once your baby unlatches. Um, something else is because it's the first few days, maybe your breast feels heavy too, and because of gravity, it can maybe kind of slip out of your baby's mouth. So your baby's gums are like trying to tie it in so it doesn't fall. So try and again use those positions that um, are not going to be fighting with gravity and and your baby. And if you're laid back, um, it's not like your breast is gonna be falling off because your baby is tightly um, latched onto your, onto your breast. So those are just some little tips that I wanted to um, offer to um, moms that are new to breastfeeding, new to our community. And if you have any particular questions about pain, maybe you're a mommy that's pregnant and you're, that's something that concerns you. And I know it concerns a lot of moms because way back ago we did um, an ask campaign to find out a little bit more about moms and breastfeeding and some of their like fears or kind of like um, obstacles that were in the way of them being able to breastfeed and pain was a big factor. So if you have any questions, let us know. If you're experiencing any pain, let us know. And I can maybe give you some tips um, about additional things you can do and other things that can maybe affect uh, pain when breastfeeding because other things can go on like clogged ducts, mastitis, um, different things like that. And then a uh, last little bit that I wanted to include for moms that are out there and are like a little bit more advanced in breastfeeding, but you're going through what I've been going through, which is teething. A lot of moms seem to want to stop to breastfeed there because they think that they're going to get bitten. And again, that's going to cause pain or something like that. Just to let you know, a baby should not really um, bite on your breast while they're actively breastfeeding because of the tongue. The tongue will cover the teeth so it should, and the gums and the lips will be suctioned in a way where you can't really press down to, to bite. Um, so it's very difficult for a baby to bite you when they're actively breastfeeding. What will happen is maybe their gums are irritated so they will get distracted or they stop breastfeeding and then that's when they munch on you. <laughs> so it's not when they're actively breastfeeding. And the best way to do that is just be very kind of like, like I am right now. I'm watching him um, to see that he is um, feeding and I can obviously feel that he's swallowing too. And once he stops then I'll take my breast off and maybe I'll give him a teething ring or my necklace or something like that. Um, my teething necklace, not a regular necklace, um, to see that he's okay and that he's, you know, able to uh, massage his gums that way. So just wanted to share those tips for you. If you have any tips in regards to um, pain and how you managed it and why it was painful, um, let us know because it's always good to know from other mommies and their experience what it was like, especially initially getting into your breastfeeding journey because everybody has different, you know, um, you know, worries or concerns and then you find out, you know, uh, oh, okay, it wasn't painful, it was just a little bit uncomfortable because I personally was under the assumption that breastfeeding was going to be like, okay, 
put the baby on the breast. This is gonna be really painful. And it really just wasn't. It was just something that was different. And then after a few days, I was able to get the, um, the hang of latching. Now I had a whole different issue with my milk coming in and engorgement and something else, but it wasn't anything to do with the baby um, or with breastfeeding actually being um, painful. It was something completely different and I'll share that with you mommies um, another day. Bye mommies.